Aloha, and welcome to the tour of Mantis Issue Tracker. I'm going to show you how to set yourself up to use Mantis and how to report issues so that your problems on the web or other online projects can be taken care of. First of all, let me describe briefly what Mantis is. Mantis is an issue tracking system. You can think of it as perhaps a shared task list. This means that many people can report issues and then it's easy for an administrator to assign those issues to a specific person so that the task gets completed in a timely manner. Mantis also somewhat acts as a collaboration space. On all of the issues that you report, you have the option of adding notes, attaching files, or even notifying other users about your issue. So it's a rather powerful web application. Using it is quite simple. I'm going to show you how to log in or to create an account using your CS Net ID. And then I'll show you how to log in and report an issue. And then I'll walk you through the process of updating the issue by adding a note and perhaps even show you what it looks like if you receive an update in your email about the issue. To get to the Mantis uh, login screen, you need to type in mantis.byuh.edu into your address bar here at the top. When you hit enter, you'll be taken into the login screen. If you don't have an account already, make sure you click the link here at the bottom that says sign up for a new account. When you do that, you have the option to enter a username and an email. Because the school has well, it ties into the CES Net ID, just enter your CES Net ID username here, and then your email, and then your and then your account will be added shortly after. So I already have an account, so I'm going to go in and type in my username and password, and I'm going to hit log in. The first screen that you see here is a kind of an overview screen. You're able to see all of the issues that I have created, all of the issues that have been assigned to me to, to uh, fulfill. So here's one, create a Mantis video tutorial. And that's what I'm doing right now. And you can also see some of the issues that have been finished or some of the ones that have been changed recently. So this is just kind of an overview page uh, that gives you a, a feel for what's going on. Let me just point out a couple other things. Up here in the top right, you can see that there's a, a menu selector that says Project. So inside of Mantis, there's several different projects that are being tracked using, using the Mantis system. So please make sure that the issue that you, that before you, that before you submit an, an issue, that you have the correct project selected. For example, if you're having problems with Blackboard, make sure that the Blackboard project is selected. And if you're having problems with the website, make sure the byh.ed redesign and new Drupal template is selected. Same thing applies for the other, the other projects. Okay, so that's, the, uh, that's what you need to know about the home screen. So let's go ahead and we're going to click on View Issues. When you click on view issues, you're viewing all of the issues within the project that you have selected at the top right. So here we're seeing all of the issues that have ever been submitted for the website. You can see that our web team stays pretty busy. Now currently we're viewing all of the issues that have ever been entered at any time. So we can choose to filter out certain tasks if we'd like to. So let's just uh, hide any status that is resolved or closed. and We'll apply the filter and now we can see all of the current tasks inside of the web uh, BYH redesign project. Okay so now for the fun part let me show you how to report an issue. So let's say I have an issue with the website. I'm going to go ahead and click report issue. And the first thing you need to do is select a category. Typically, I use either defect or a feature or maintenance. So a defect would be something that is wrong with the website. A feature is something that needs to be added to the website that hasn't, doesn't exist yet. And maintenance is maybe just something simple like cleaning out a cache or, and, and so forth. Okay, so the first required field is that you add a summary. So let's, let's say the website isn't working. 
in Safari. Okay, that's an outrageous task. Obviously, the website is working in Safari. Now I need to add a description and give a little bit more information. So I can say, whenever I open Safari and browse to the byuh.edu webpage, I get flashing lights and dancing gummy bears instead of the web page. Oh, and this is <laughs> a sample issue for my training video. Okay, because I'm going to submit this and so someone will actually see this. Okay, so we have selected a category, we've added a summary, and we've also added a description. So now all I need to do is just click Submit Report, and the issue has been, has been submitted. Okay, so now you can see here highlighted in red is our issue. It hasn't been assigned yet, so and it's also new, so it will stand out from the rest until an administrator goes in and assigns it to somebody. Let's go ahead and view this issue. So this is just basically a summary of the issue that we just submitted. It has the date and time and last time it was updated. There's some things we can do with this. So let's say we want to upload a file and attach it to the issue. We can do that right here. We could choose a file. So I could upload this file and attach it. So now you can see that here there's an attached file to this issue. So let's say if you know if you needed to if you needed the webmaster to attach um, a file to the web server so that you could have a, a link to it, you know, maybe like a PDF document you want to be downloaded, you can actually just attach it here inside of Mantis. I could also add a note. And anytime I add a note, uh, anyone who's involved with this issue, such as the people working on it, will be notified. So let's say I still see dancing gummy bears on screen. Okay, so I just added a note. So now, not only does this note show up in the issue view, but, it, but all the people who are working on the task will also get notified of your note. Anytime anything happens to this issue, you will also be notified because you're the one who submitted it. So that's basically how Mantis works. It's pretty simple. Let me just go over one more time all the things you need to know. So from your main view, this is just a summary of all that is going on in Mantis. You can also select which project you're currently working in up at the top right. And then to report an issue, you simply click Report Issue. And the required fields are to select a category, a defect, a feature, or maintenance, add a summary, and then a brief description of what's, what's wrong. Uh, you can also upload a file if you choose, and then just click Submit Report. Whenever you need to update an issue, you just come into the View Issues, find the issue that you'd like to update, so we could update our issue that we just created, and then you can add another note down here once you scroll down or you can even attach another file to it.